Hey guys, welcome to another Mechanic Monday. I am ready for another video. Uh, this time expect a longer video because I'm gonna show you how to clean your bicycle if you wear a hum. Meaning this time I will be using less tools than I normally do in order to do it the way you should do it at home. Um, I have a bicycle here that is full suspension. Full suspension is a little bit more complicated because um, more stuff going on, so, but that's the idea. Um, I am going to take this bike apart as much as I can uh, to show you how to go in and clean uh, deeply, but I will also show you how to do it uh, or how you can do it if you don't want to take the bike apart because I know some people get scared when the bicycle is taken apart and they don't know how to put it back together. So let's go quick to it. Um, I'm going to start preparing the bike just to start cleaning. First, uh, let's remove the rear wheel. Uh, this one should be uh, quick and easy. Put all the parts on a place where you can find them. You don't want to lose um, little bolts or screws. This cassette can be clean. If you don't want to take it apart, it can be clean using a brush like this one. In between, take your time. Um, I'm not gonna do it that way this time. I'm going to take the cassette apart and I'm gonna show you how to get it really, really clean. Um, so, now the next step is um, I'm not gonna remove the chain. Um, I will assume some of you guys don't have the quick link on the chain, so I'm gonna leave it there and I'm gonna clean it there. Um, there are two ways on how you can clean it um, when the chain is on your bicycle. I will just grab um, a rag and I will uh, spray my cleaning solution on it and then just spin the chain, spin it, and then clean it. If you guys have this kind of tool at home, recommend it. Uh, this one will clean the chain and it's easy to use. So the next step is I will remove the uh, jockey wheels from the rear derailleur. I want to clean the cage and everything very well. So these guys come off. Something that I do guys is I will put the um, the right side of the jockey wheel facing up. That way I don't get confused because some derailleurs have a directional jockey wheels and some derailleurs have different um, bolt length for both of them. So you want to leave that bolt next to the jockey wheel and always keep it uh, facing up that way. So I'm going to go to the next one. Uh, remove this guy really easy um, during the video you will be seeing uh, which tools I need I don't need many tools so there you have it guys facing up and then the screw with it so you don't want to lose those little pieces the next step um, if your bicycle has disc brakes you don't want the brake pads uh, on the bicycle because you will be spraying your cleaning solution all over the place. We don't want them contaminated. You, if you have disc brakes, your brake pads are attached to the calipers in different ways. This one has a, a threader, a bolt-on system and a little clip for um, safety. So I will remove these um, brake pads and then uh, for the front, we just do the same. In this video, I will be doing um, the rear end of the bike, which is more complicated. For the front, it'll be way easier. So I have the brake pads out. We don't want them contaminated, so let's just put them somewhere safe. <clears throat> now, I have the bicycle this way right now. I can spray freely and start uh, cleaning. So let's go to that. I'm gonna shift down to get the derailleur um, spread out and open to be clean. So after that, 
just feel free I have this finish line solution here you guys can do uh, whatever you have soap or or you can come to the shop and purchase whatever you need so at this point no brake pads feel free go ahead and spray all what you need we're gonna clean this bike it's your bicycle you want it really really clean feel free to spray and let's do a small area first i'm going to the rear derailleur because it's really dirty um i might get quiet at some point i will be concentrated cleaning but just bear with me um basically what i want you to see on this one is um how to do it uh, properly like I said all bicycles are different but we want to access all those little corners on your bicycle you want the bicycle not only to look good you want the bicycle to be clean so um, the other thing that I do guys is that removing the dirt from the bicycle you will notice that um your cloth gets really really dirty really quick so i will be doing this um on the rear end of the bicycle in bottom bracket and then i will repeat this step with a clean one uh, because this one leaves um leaves some dirt behind i don't want that So let's go to every single corner of this rear derailleur. Let's clean it. Take your time. Okay, let's move on. Now let's clean the brake caliper, the rear end over here. So in spring we get a lot of bicycles here that people sometimes ride them um, in winter or during spring and they get really dirty so here in the store we get a lot of bicycles that need this treatment just cleaning and cleaning but honestly it's a good feeling after you finish and you go out riding um, and it just feels like a new bike So now I'm gonna go to the barn bracket. There are some bicycles that I remove the barn bracket because it's difficult to access the dirt over there. This one has the one by drive train really easy. So just feel free, spray, spray, and let's get this dirt out of here. So after I'm done here, I will move to the cassette. I will take it apart and I will show you how to do it, uh, sprocket by sprocket. Um, the cassette, the chain, uh, the derailleur, you want them real clean because dirt will damage your drive train. Okay guys, it's time for me to grab a new one and I'm going to repeat these steps. I'm sure it will take you longer uh, cleaning your bike at home because I do this almost every day. I know what to expect. 
I know how to do it, but um, I think the most important thing for you guys will be preparing the bicycle um, before starting and then getting everything you need. You don't want to start cleaning your bicycle if you think you are missing one tool, uh, if you think you don't have everything. Um, before starting, just make sure you have all the tools uh, you need. Looking good so far. Let's do it again on the rear derailleur. Okay guys, now um, I have um, the rear end of the bike ready. Um, I will um, remove the cassette. Like I said, if you don't have the tools to remove uh, the cassette, you can use this brush and um, it's really easy to clean it this way, but you're not gonna remove all the dirt. So in my case, I will remove the cassette out of this wheel. So for that, you will need the cassette little tool to remove it. <clears throat> you might have a chain whip at home or just a tool like this one to hold the cassette in place. So, and now with a crescent wrench, Let's just remove this guy out of here. Also by removing the cassette, you guys have access to clean the hull over that area. Okay, so we have the cassette here. And um, normally here in the store, we have a parts washer and uh, it's easy, it's faster. Um, but what I want to do is, I want to do it like if I was home, uh, where you guys can see. So this cassette has a, a an aluminum carrier for all these sprockets. So a little bit more difficult to clean, but I'm gonna clean as much as I can. Once I put the cassette on the free hub, then I will just clean in between using the brush or just the rag I have. But see, these pieces here, guys, if you don't take the cassette apart, you won't be able to remove all this dirt out of the sprocket. So, again, I'm gonna take a few minutes here to clean this one. So, I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to uh, clean this cassette right now. I'm gonna take some time, so I'm gonna stop the video for a moment and um, I'll be back in one minute. So, hey guys, I'm back. So um, I'm still halfway cleaning this cassette. I know it looks better, but there is um, some dirt in between and uh, I can't get it out by holding the cassette like this. So, um, what I'm going to do is I will uh, proceed to clean the hub. I want to just put this cassette on the free hub body 
And once the cassette is on the freehold body, I will be able to put a new clean rag in between each sprocket. And I'm just gonna go um, cleaning in between until I am satisfied. It's the dirt in between that I have to remove. Um, so let's go to the cassette right now. I, probably you guys can tell how much dirt I have collected on my bench already. But let's continue going here. Now that the cassette is not in the hub, it's easy for me to access it and just clean, clean, clean. This bicycle is gonna look way better after I'm done. By the way, guys, the bicycle I'm working on, this is um, a customer's bicycle. This is not our bike, so um, I am doing this here. Like, I'm getting paid for this. So um, let's clean this guy <clears throat> very well. Also guys, you will need probably <clears throat> five or six uh, clean rags. I don't know, uh, as many as you need because they get dirty really quick. So now I'm going to clean this one <clears throat> behind the disc. And then if you guys have the tools to remove the disc, go ahead and remove it uh, to clean better. On this case, I have the um, <clears throat> central lock system. It's easier to clean. Um, but one thing you don't want to do, don't uh, spray the cleaning solution on the disc. You don't want to contaminate it either. So that's why I am just going around it but I am not touching the area, the breaking area. You don't want contaminated discs because they get noisy and annoying. Okay, <clears throat> I have the hub clean. So I will put this cassette on the free hub body. So this is the new Shimano uh, cassette. The micro spline is so small now that uh, you, you have to be careful to put it back on, especially the uh, smaller cogs. Okay guys, so this is what I was telling you. Uh, the cassette looks clean, but there is dirt in between. So all you need to do is this. Way easier when the cassette is on the hub. I have one. I'm gonna move to the next one. I had to use the brush to clean this guy. I had to use the rings, a lot of cleaning solution. But you know what guys, you're gonna do whatever you have to to see your bike clean. Oh, this is looking way better now. So this is the look I wanted guys, it looks so clean now, completely different to what I got in the beginning. <clears throat> so I can start putting these pieces back on. And so the, um, <clears throat> when I started cleaning the uh, individual cogs. I was doing it with one of these rags and that's so dirty. So this one looks clean, but this is just me guys. I'm just gonna do it again with a very clean rag. <clears throat> so it's easy to take the pieces off of the bike 
guys, one recommendation that I'm gonna give you is before you remove anything from the bike, if you think you're gonna get confused, take pictures, uh, close-up pictures of how the pieces look installed on the bicycle. You don't want to <clears throat> uh, get confused. Uh, a little picture, maybe a little video, something that you know it'll help you uh, to remember how to come back. Um, here in the shop, I have received many bicycles that people take apart and uh, they want to clean them, but then they get confused. And um, I see cassettes missing spacers. I see the jockey wheels are switched on the derailleur cage. So you don't want that. Take pictures, take notes before you take your bike apart. It'll save you time. I am so close and this cassette is looking like new. The last piece, the lock ruin. Let's clean this little guy and we can have our cassette back on and clean. If you guys don't have a, um, a torque wrench for this one, I say don't worry about it. Um, this uh, lock ring is really strong, so you just have to make sure that it's tight. Normally I feel it when I can't go no more, that's when I stop. So I have this one. Now I'm going to uh, put the rear derailleur together. So remember what I said, always keep the right side of the jockey wheels facing up, that way you don't lose the position. Um, most derailleurs have um, um, matching uh, jockey wheels, but in this case they are not, they are different. So there's the tension jockey wheel and there is the guide jockey wheel. Guide is the one that moves the chain up and down and the tension is the one that goes at the end of the cage. So always keep him facing up. We are almost done here. After this, guys, um, I'm gonna put everything back together and that's the part where you might struggle. So you want to check your pictures and see if you did everything correct. And um, <clears throat> normally I remove the rear derailleur. Um, I remove other pieces, but in this case, I don't want you to deal with shifting adjustments, um, brake adjustments, let's not do that. Now let's clean the cage.
you can clean this cage if you want without taking everything apart if you're able to remove the chain you can just get the rack through and clean but you're not gonna get everything out so i am ready for this one so let's put it back together uh the only thing i was gonna tell you guys is that <clears throat> some jockey wheels have the uh, the wadding uh, on the right side so if by any chance you get uh, confused and you don't know what is the right side all you need to do is that the branding uh, faces you or faces the right side of the bicycle so if there is nothing on the other side that tells you that portion goes in so let's do it So I'm gonna start with the guide jockey wheel first. And leave it a little loose because we need to get the chain uh, through. So let's prepare the other little guide. Okay, so this step, guys, uh, I know many people get confused. It's like um, uh, not many people know um, how to run the chain uh, through. This is when you will need your pictures. You better take a picture before you take this apart because um, you can put the chain the wrong way. So first, uh, if you noticed uh, here on the guide, jockey wheel the chain goes under and for the tension jockey wheel the chain goes over so i'm going to hold it like that now that the chain is in place i'm just going to get this screw through and i'm going to thread it and everything is loose right now but first, you want to confirm that the chain is in the right place. So, uh, guide jockey wheel, the chain goes under if the bicycle is hanging like this. And then there is a little safety pin um, underneath right here. The chain is supposed to go, it has to go over it and then over the tension wheel so now that i know i have the chain <clears throat> in the proper position i can get the bolts tight the next step guys i'm going to put the brake pads back on now that i have everything thin um the brake pads they look the same all the time um, but if you get confused then brake pads have uh, left and right you will see the letter l and the letter r so just follow that the letter r will be on the drive side of the bike and the left of course on the left side of the bike so let's just put these guys on So um, this caliper has a threaded bolt. Other other calipers just have like a, like a pin that goes through, and you have to bend the end. Uh, whichever one you hand you have, just make sure that you put it back the right way. Let's not forget the little safety pin. Um, I have the brake pads on. Um, 
So what I want to show you now is how to clean the chain without using um, uh, the cleaning tool just like you were at home. So I have everything back on the bike. And let's go to the chain. So this might not be my favorite step guys, but we have to do it. So just go ahead and choose a sprocket in the, uh, in the middle or whatever. And the way I'm going to do it is I will spray my solution on the rag. <clears throat> I will spin, uh, you can spin forward, backwards, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna rotate also like this. And I will do this step probably four or five times until I feel satisfied. So you can see all the dirt already removed from it. So that's why you're gonna need a few clean rags to finish this. Um, and then after I clean these guys, I add a lot of um, oil to the chain, more than I need, but I repeat these steps to remove the extra oil from the bike. That not only helps uh, keeping the, the chain clean, but also is like the last cleaning step uh, for your chain. So here I go, I still see dirt. I'm just gonna continue doing this. And the reason why I'm doing this, guys, is because some bicycles out there don't have the master link on it. The master link is really easy to remove. But the chains without master link, I don't want you to cut that chain. The pin gets damaged, and if it gets damaged, um, the chain will break. You don't want that, so. One more, and the chain is looking better. So the chain looks clean. Uh, looks like I need uh, two more um, cleaning cycles to do that. So I will finish that after I add some oil to it. I'm gonna add a lot of oil and then do it two more times. But now what I want you to see guys is that <clears throat> we are done here. It's a big difference. It was really, really dirty. And now we have a clean drivetrain, clean bike. The front end, I'm not gonna do it uh, for you in this video because that one is way, way easier than this. This is where things get um, complicated. So let's finish this by cleaning the side walls. So feel free and spray <clears throat> your cleaning solution as much as you can. And uh, it's just wonderful how clean the bike looks after you do this step. I, I like to leave this one for last because it gives you a good feeling. There's some dirt there, so <clears throat> In order to get the dirt in between the spokes, guys, you have to do this. Go ahead and go between the spokes until you are satisfied. And later on, if you want, when the rim and the tire are dry, you will see if you missed some spots. So what you can do is um, grab another clean rag and repeat this process. So 
we are there now let's do this pause one by one there is no other way one by one and our bicycle is looking good I think guys the most important thing for cleaning your bicycle will be putting it back together the way it was. <clears throat> if your bicycle has quick release, have you seen those little springs um, for your quick release? <clears throat> most people get confused with them. Um, take a picture of those little springs on how they come. If you put them backwards, then you're not going to be able to adjust uh, the shifting and the brakes because the axle doesn't sit properly on the drop pad. Uh, through axle like this one is easier because there is only one position for that. I have the rear wheel clean and um, after that I will move uh, from the center of the bike to the front and I will finish it and then I will bleed the brakes. Uh, you guys don't have to do that at home. But on this one, I have to do it. Um, I will ride it and confirm that the shifting is good. Also, after I ride it, I am looking for some uh, noises. Um, I want to make sure that I left everything tight and secure um, <clears throat> for you to ride. Um, this is half ways. There is more to do on this bicycle but this is the most critical part. I wanted you guys to see how to remove it, how to put it back, how to clean, uh, you want that. Uh, thank you for being with us uh, today. Um, if you have questions and comments, if you think your bicycle is completely different to this one and you want to know how to take it apart, give us a call, come to the shop, um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, drop your comments, suggestions or questions and we will be here to help you out. I will see you next time.